What's going on everyone, Mar here with AutoDS. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the easiest and absolutely quickest way that you can create your own dropshipping store in pretty much less than two minutes. That quick? Now, the best thing is that our Shopify store is gonna have an actually good design. It's not gonna be a very basic layout that's not gonna make any conversions. Also, it's gonna come preloaded with proven winning products, all of which are from the AutoDS handpicked product section. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna be pretty skeptical when they hear an entire Shopify store with a really good layout in less than two minutes already preloaded with products really i don't know it sounds kind of sus but i'm about to show you in real time that we can actually get this done and that you can do it too now for this there's only one prerequisite that we need so you are going to need to be a member of AutoDS. but if you're not a member just yet or if you're on the fence of joining you can go ahead and sign up for the trial period for just one dollar for the next two weeks when you do that you can gain access to the AutoDS shopify ai store builder which i'm about to show you right now start the clock so the first thing that we're going to do is Start a timer. All right, so now we're gonna click up here. Typically this is gonna say add store, but we have it over here since we already have a few stores linked. We're gonna choose our Shopify store, click on continue. Always choose the middle option, which is to use AI to generate a pre-built Shopify store. Then we select our niche. In this case, I already decided I'm going with home and garden. So click on next. And now it's pretty much it. AI is already starting to build our Shopify store and we're less than 30 seconds in. All right, we have our login details. Let's go ahead and click on that. Let's copy. Let's go ahead and click on login. Login with the provided details. Grab our password. So far we are one minute in. All right, now the next thing we need to do is simply select the plan. My internet's going a little bit slow, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer, but we should still meet our two minute deadline. And then once we have everything ready, once we have our plan selected, we're pretty much done. So stop, we made it at one minute and 46 seconds. Now my internet did slow down for just a little bit, but we still made it in just under two minutes. The only extra step I had to do once I signed on to the Shopify store was simply select my plan. Now, what I like to do is go with the basic starter account, which will still get you the $1 trial for Shopify as well for one month. And once your plan is selected, then you're pretty much done. We can go ahead and check out our online store over here. So view your online store. And here we can see that we have the home store. Now the layout overall is pretty good. It's very well done, it's very organized, it's not too cluttered, it's very clean and easy on the eyes. Now it comes already with a pre-designed logo called Home Store. We have this pretty cool banner up here that has the free shipping and a countdown timer. We have a few different tabs, you can shop our entire collection, got a couple different banners which go really well, it all looks very nice. We have our winning products that were imported from the AutoDS Handpicks product section. And if we scroll down, we have our reviews. Now these reviews are gonna be for the store itself, not necessarily for the products. But besides that, down here, we have a bunch of other links. So we have the about us section, some frequently asked questions. So let's go ahead and take a look through some of the different tabs that we have available to us or that were already designed for us. But as you can tell, for a shop that was designed in less than two minutes, this is pretty good. This is a very good template that we can use to start customizing to our own liking. So as we talk a little bit about that, let's go ahead and go through some of the different tabs. So first we have our home, which is obviously this one, our homepage. We have our new arrival section, which is gonna be this one over here, which is pretty much gonna have all of our different products that were imported and anything else that we import in the future, which I'm gonna show you how easy that is in a few minutes. But as you can see, it's already filled with a few different home and garden products that are actually really good for our niche. Now, my favorite ones in particular are these two right here. This bedside table is very nice. And so is this mirror. This mirror actually looks very, very cool. But besides that, everything else is relevant to our niche. Then we also have our contact us section. So this makes it very easy for our customers to be able to reach out to us, whether they have a question about a product or an order. Now what happens here is a customer goes ahead and submits their information. They submit their question or their query. And this goes directly to your email where you can reply back to them in less than 24 hours. Always remember, Reply back to your customers in less than one day. Then we have the track your order section where your customers can conveniently just go ahead and track their orders, see where it's at. Followed by the about us section, which was actually done pretty well. One thing about this though is I would go ahead and 
probably change the text around here a little bit to make it a bit more unique to your store. So maybe try adding the history of your store or come up with a story about how you decided to come up with your store or what it means to you, something along those lines. Make it a bit personal and try to connect with your audience in this way. Then we have the different policies. So we have the shipping policy, the return policy, and we have our frequently asked questions. Now with these different pages, what you need to do is actually go through them and make sure that everything is accurate because not everyone is gonna have the same return policy. Not everyone's gonna have the same shipping policy. And when it comes to the frequently asked questions, same thing goes here. So how long does shipping take? This is gonna vary depending on your suppliers and depending on you, depending on your policy. Same thing with do you ship internationally? Here it's set by default as yes, but me personally, I never really do that. I always stick to local shipping. So in my case, I would go ahead and change this as well. I would put no, I don't offer international shipping. And then looking through the terms and conditions, it's the same thing. So you're going to have to go through some of this different stuff and you're going to have to make changes based on your preferences, based on your policies and based on your actual brand. So not very many people are actually going to go with the home store. So in this case, what you can do is go ahead and create your own logo, do that using a service like Kittle or Canva and then just upload it to here. Same thing goes with the different colors. If these colors aren't necessarily, you know, your brand colors, you can change this to your preference and to your liking, but always go through all of the different policies because you're gonna realize that a lot of these policies are pretty much templates. So if we read through here, you're gonna see, thank you for shopping at Pet Shop. We are dedicated to ensuring the satisfaction of our customers. Here, regardless of whatever niche you choose, regardless of any AI store that you make anywhere, if there's any sort of policy or anything like that, it's going to be kind of a generic policy that you're going to need to customize yourself. So just go through it, change things like this, put your own store name, your own brand name, your website name under the refund section, change this to whatever your refund policy is and so on. Now let's quickly run over back to our dashboard over at autodias.com. So here we have all of the information for our store. I suggest you save this, but if you lose it or if you accidentally close out the tab, it's okay. You are going to be receiving this in an email. Now let's look back over one more time at our timer. It took us a minute and 46 seconds to create our entire store. That's absolutely insane. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a second, but to show you how you can scale your store a little bit further and how easy it is to import more products, check this out. So here we're going to run over to our marketplace and we're going to go over to the handpicked product section. On here, you're going to have tons of different products that are going to be relevant to your niche and other niches. So here we can see that we have the home and garden section. So on this section, we're going to find a lot of different products that are going to be relevant for our niche. Now, there are a few other niches that we can actually take into consideration because of what we chose. So since we're in the home and garden niche, we can go ahead and, and offer some things like home improvement and tools, even some outdoor things, even stuff for pets, because let's say a pet bed, that's part of your house. That's those are household goods. So it could be a pretty good idea for you to choose one niche that can sort of blanket other niches. But scrolling through some of the home and garden products, let's go ahead and see what we can find and see if anything sticks out to us. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. The one thing that actually stood out to me is this right here. Now this is a cherry shaped toilet brush. That's interesting. Now the reason this stood out to me is because it's unique. It's not something you really see almost ever. I've never seen a cherry shaped toilet brush, but as we can see in as far as the engagement score, right now it's actually not that active on social media. But as far as the saturation score, people are selling this. There's a lot of people trying to sell this product. Now, I don't wanna say a lot because it's not really oversaturated. The score currently is at 40, which is on the low end. So it's right at the low end of busy, but right at the high end of quiet. So it's not full market. It's not oversaturated on the market. So this actually presents a very good opportunity for you. Since there's not a lot of buzz around it in social media, you can order one of these and start making your own content on it. Start making some videos on it and catch people's attention. I'm telling you, something like this, it's unique. It's not something that people see often. It's not something that people see every day. So this is something that people are gonna be scrolling through TikTok, let's say, and then they're gonna see your product and they're gonna be like, what? And they're gonna watch the video, which in turn will give you a couple different views, which can turn into more views because again, it's attention grabbing, which will put you in front of the eyes of a lot of potential customers. Now, if you're not entirely sure what to do in terms of content, because I know this is a pretty interesting product, you also have the option for a few different social ads. These different social ads will give you ideas as to how you can structure your content or what you can do to start making a few different types of videos. Let's go ahead and check this one out. So the cherry toilet bowl cleaner is so cute. You see, all she's doing is an unboxing. Taking it out of the cherry bottom, I guess you can say. 
showing the bristles and that's pretty much it. It's, it's a very simple video. While it didn't go super viral, it did generate a bit of engagement. So 623 likes, only four comments, but the comments are pretty positive. But then if we look through here, we can see a few other ones. So let's just quickly look at this one. Same thing, has about three comments, but they're showing a cat. So this is gonna definitely start giving you a bit more engagement. So videos like this can give you ideas on how you can start structuring your own content to start bringing in more customers. So I've seen enough, I wanna import this product to my store. I think it could be a real winner and I can source it for just under $3. So let's go ahead and import draft. Doing this, we'll send it to my draft section where I'm gonna find it over here. We can go ahead and click to edit, make any necessary adjustments. And to make things a lot easier, we also have here a title optimizer with AI. So you can generate a product title or a product description or both using AI. All of this is built into the AutoDS system to make things even quicker for you. Because trust me, I know sometimes creating a title can be tough. Creating a description is even tougher because that has to be longer. So this is something that's gonna speed up your process even more. Besides that though, we have the description where we can make our own necessary adjustments if we need to, the different variations where we can edit the variations and our pricing. This makes it really easy too because it already takes the fees into consideration. So let's say I have a 15% fee. I know it's pretty high, but eBay, let's say. Let's say I have a 15% fee and I wanna make a profit of 110%. In this case, what happens is I'm gonna be selling the product for $17.77, but I'm only gonna be making $8.06 in profit. Now, the reason for this is because it's actually already gonna be taking into consideration the 15% in fees. So fees are already deducted from your profit. So you don't even have to think about that math. Besides that though, you also have the images tab where you can go ahead and delete, add, or even edit any images. And that's pretty much it. Once we're ready to actually import this to our store and have people purchase it, just go ahead and click on save and import. Let's give it a couple seconds. Once we get these little check marks down here, we can run back over to our store, go to our new arrivals again, scroll down a little bit, and then we're gonna have our cherry shaped toilet brush. See how quick, easy, and efficient that was? AI has been an absolute game changer in the dropshipping world. And right now you can take advantage of AI for pretty much any aspect of your dropshipping business. As you can see, it's extremely streamlined and it gives you a lot of different benefits. Now let's run back to the homepage and let's talk a little bit about what we just did and how we can use this to test the market. So as you saw, we created this entire store in just under two minutes. Yeah, there's a few tweaks that we gotta do, but that's gonna happen with any pre-built stores. Now, two minutes to create this entire store. This, creating it from scratch, it would have taken me a few hours. Including the different products, that would have been a few more hours as well. If we did all of this manually, copying over all of the different products, saving all of the images, copying the titles, the descriptions, the variations, doing the math for our fees, this is all stuff that really starts to take a lot of time. While, yeah, doing one or two different ones, it's not gonna take too long. Maybe it'll take you 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. Once you really wanna start adding more and more products, which you're gonna wanna do if you wanna scale, it's gonna take you a lot longer. This task that can simply take you five to 10 minutes is gonna become a task that's gonna take you a few hours, if not a few days on end. Especially when you take into consideration creating your entire Shopify store as well. So the AutoDS AI Shopify store builder took a task that's gonna take you a few days and dropped it down to less than 20 minutes. Now, how can this help us? So if you're just getting started in the game, or even if you're already an experienced dropshipper, you know how long it takes to create stores. So if you wanna test out the market and you wanna test different niches, you're gonna to wanna to create a store for each niche. Let's say you have already an established baby store niche, but you wanna test out the home and garden niche, or maybe you wanna test out the pets products niche. Now, in this case, you're not gonna to wanna to spend too much time creating your store, designing your store, coming up with the color scheme, the layout, and all that stuff. It's just gonna take way too long to do this for multiple niches especially. So using AI like this to create your Shopify store through AutoDS, it's gonna streamline the whole thing. It's gonna give you the option to pretty much create, let's say, four different stores in less than 10 minutes. The only thing you're gonna have to do afterwards is, as you saw, make a couple tweaks, but then you're gonna have four entire Shopify stores built in less than 10 minutes that actually look good. That's not something you're ever gonna be able to do manually. But besides testing the market, another huge benefit that you get is you can test out a few different business models. Now, what do I mean by this? So for one, you can open up a standard retail store, but then you can open up an outlet store or a wholesale store. Now, how does this work? Well, you can start with the same niche. You can have two different stores based on the home and garden niche. Of course, you are gonna to have to differentiate them in terms of logos, color schemes, and all that stuff, but you can import the same exact products to both of them 
and on your retail store, you can offer them at typical retail prices. But in the outlet or the wholesale store, you can offer them at discounted prices. Now, I know you might be thinking, but if I do that, I'm going to miss out on profits. Yes, you might miss out on profits when you make two sales in your wholesale store versus two sales in your retail store. The retail store is going to be making more profits, but the wholesale store has chances of making more sales since you have lower priced items. So the thought process behind this is with your retail store, you're going to be making less sales, but higher profits. But with your outlet or wholesale store, you're going to be making more sales with less profits, which in the end kind of evens everything out. Now, I know one business model might work better for you while the other one might work better for somebody else. So it's really good to be able to test out these different ways of presenting and offering your products to see what works for you. You might be surprised. You might be surprised that both of them could work for you. You never know. So as you saw, it's extremely easy to get your store created. All it takes is an account with AutoDS and a few clicks. Now, if you want a more detailed explanation as to everything that you just saw, including another AI store builder that we highly recommend, then you can check out this video right here. In it, I explain everything that you need to know on both different builders. Trust me, you don't want to miss that. So I highly suggest you check that out. So what did you think of today's video? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you used the AI Shopify store builder from AutoDS? If you have, what niche did you do? Did you like the outcome? And what did you have to edit on it? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. I would love to hear everything that you have to say about it. Huge thank you term for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did make it this far, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you once again, Terran, for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch y'all next time.